right now we're at Island Water World and finding out that we can drop our tank off on Monday morning and then hopefully pick it up again that night. But we've been to maybe six different places asking and I think there's only one fill in this area. But uh, right now I'm actually kind of jealous of Uma and their little solar oven because that would come in pretty handy right now. <laughs> Previously on MJ Sailing, we run out of propane while sitting in St. Bart's and find ourselves living off baguettes as almost all shops are closed for a holiday. And although we spend a few days living a bread and cheese life, we find ourselves surrounded by mega yachts, including Tommy Hilfiger's flag. We just got ourselves checked out of St. Bart's this morning, which has to be by far the easiest clearance in and out that we've ever done. Basically, they direct you to a computer where you enter all the information and it sends it to them. But we never once handed them our boat registration. They never asked for our passports. It's almost like it's the honor system. You could just like make up whatever gibberish you want to enter. Who knows? Of course, we weren't going to try. Uh, so it was a really easy process for us to get out this morning as well. We weren't sure if it was going to, you know, like all come back and bite us in the ass when we were trying to leave, but no. And there is a cost to anchor here. Every day they take your uh, length and your beam and like some square footage, cubed root, whatever, to charge you a daily rate. Anyway, they take the size of your vessel, basically length and beam, and you get charged um, to be at anchor too. And so uh, for us being here a week now, I think we were charged around 10 euro a day, which isn't too bad. I mean, we like being at anchor, even if it was the same price to be in a marina with the facilities we probably choose to be at anchor instead so yeah we just uh, got the dinghy on the deck um, there had been thunderstorms all around us this morning but it looks like things are clearing up winds are coming from the east as we start to head northwest towards Phillipsburg and St. Martin so we are expecting it is going to be a beautiful three hour sail there everybody's leaving the anchorage probably all going to follow us to St. Martin. Bye bye St. Martin's. For now. We'll see you again in a few days. wrong we might get hit with one of those showers after all but you know what fresh water rinse you can never really complain about one of those when you're constantly getting your boat covered in salt water
are anchored down in Group Bay in Phillipsburg, and uh, we're kind of anchored next to the cruise ships. Um, probably can't really make them out under our boom right now, but uh, we're about to get the dinghy back down, and uh, we know where Island Water World is here, so I think Customs is right next door. We can land our dinghy, get ourselves checked in, and ooh, big gust get ourselves checked in and then see if we can start checking items off of our to-do list. We need to uh, get propane, of course, we don't have any. Um, need to make Georgie a vet appointment to get her blood work done for Europe, um, provision, maybe gasoline. Um, and this is an unfortunate case where, you know, arriving in St. Martin, which was hit so hard by Irma a few months ago, um, not this time around. We really want to do some work to help rebuild this place. It's just that, unfortunately, we have other obligations. We have to be back to St. Bart's in a few days for the Volet de St. Bart's. Our uh, company we work with is a sponsor, and they've set us up with some events to be yet partaken. Um, but since this is going to be our jumping off point for our crossing, it's going to be our land base for a while, and we're definitely going to be spending more time here in the future. But this weekend, it's just going to be a get things done and go. <laughs> Well, that didn't quite work out as planned. Island Waterworld in Phillipsburg is closed due to Irma, and while we checked throughout the day for customs and integration officials, none ever came to their office. So now we're off to Simpson Bay and uh, hope to get legal. So don't judge us, just got into Simpson Bay area, checked in, and the first thing we've done now is... So we went from French cuisine in St. Bart's to McDonald's. <laughs> Give me a French fries. <laughs> and once I finish this, I finally get my McFlurry. They have m and I'm super excited. I have been dreaming about this for literally weeks. I think we're still in the Bahamas. And I was dreaming about McFlurry's first ice cream and I don't even know how long. Gonna chomp on this on the dinghy right over to Island Water World through Simpson Bay Lagoon. So, gonna head out and keep cool and blistering the sun. So today is a Thursday. I think we ran out of our propane on Sunday or Monday this week, so we've already gone about four days without it. And right now we're at Island Water World and finding out that we can drop our tank off on Monday morning and then hopefully pick it up again that night. But we've been to maybe six different places asking and I think there's only one fill in this area. Um, so it sounds like regardless, we're gonna be without it for a few more days. But uh, right now I'm actually kind of jealous of Uma and their little solar oven because that would come in pretty handy right now. So I we went to uh, Island Water World. They had a few things. Unfortunately, huh? Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, the things that we needed, they did not have in the size that we needed. Um, so now we're going to check out budget, which is another great option. <laughs> yep, so that's another great option for us. Uh, we're going to wander over here, take a look and try not to get killed on the road. So far though, um, the, regarding damage, actually it's it's looking fairly close to what it did before. I'm really not seeing a ton of stuff down. Um, there's quite a few carcasses of uh, boats, things that you could tell had sunk. Uh, but beyond that, really, it's the roofs look pretty good. Um, there's a few of them that are getting new roofs put on, but uh, everything else, I mean, I think it's, up and running pretty pretty well. Of course, uh, the people here are awesome as always. So, you know, it's good attitude type of thing, but they've always had that. So budget is missing a few letters, uh, but we actually think that it was like that 
in 2015 when we were here too. Yeah. So I don't think this is anything new. They may have lost a few more, but uh, we don't think they ever actually had any. I'm pretty sure Matt is in heaven here with all these boat stores and options to buy different epoxies and resins and bolts and rivets. And for me, uh, after two and a half years spent in Indian Town and these few months we've been out cruising, I am still quite over boat work. But since we do have our Atlanta crossing coming up and even though Elements is in really good shape, we don't have to worry about, you know, totally outfitting her to get her ready for an ocean crossing. Things like pad eyes so that we can uh, latch our harnesses in in the cockpit. That's pretty important, and our countertops, um, the sealant is coming off, so I guess those things affect me too, and I should be more excited that we can fix them, <laughs> but I just still want to lay on beaches and go explore jungles, so 50-50, we'll have to split up our time between both. Hurricane Irma was the strongest storm on record to pass through the Atlantic. Sustained wind speeds topped out at 185 miles an hour. St. Martin being in her direct path, this vibrant and bustling bit of paradise was turned upside down as homes, businesses, and boats were ravaged by the storms. Although this part of the island is recovering well with the help of the Dutch government and the positive attitudes of the locals, there are still relics remaining which remind us of this horrible storm just a few months ago. Upon leaving Island Waterworld, we came across some of the most apparent signs of Irma's destruction to this island. While most of the homes and businesses seemed to be doing well, the lagoon had the now floated remains of sunken boats, previous sailors' dreams, homes, and happiness. So even though we didn't really technically get anything done today, I would still say it was a productive day because we found out how to do everything that we came here to do. Um, we will be dropping laundry off tomorrow morning on our way to take Georgie to the vet to get her uh, blood work drawn. And uh, then we found out that it has to be, gosh, how many days is it from now? Four days from now we can drop off our propane. So still lots of sandwiches and um, probably another stuff at McDonald's. What can you do? Um, but it was interesting to see St. Martin itself after Irma, you know, ravaged it just over six months ago. We did run into a couple at St. Bart's at the docks when we were uploading an episode that said they had just come from here and the Dutch side of St. Martin is faring better than the French side. Um, and Matt had read through the news for the past few months that the Dutch government has like really come through sending relief and workers here so it looks like a lot of the places that did have damage are getting rebuilt there are still signs of the hurricane we would see um boats inside the lagoon that you could tell had just been sitting on the bottom for i don't really know how long and they were brought up and patched enough just to float on the surface and kind of stuck on mooring balls and we would see buildings with um maybe roofs missing or balconies dented but everywhere we went we could also see progress being made too um, you know, there are people out like welding, hammering, painting, so it looks like they are coming back, which is great to see. And as we said, we are going to come, when we come back here to stage for our Atlanta crossing, we're going to see what kind of work we can do to help out as well. Um, I don't know if we'll get over to the French side. I've heard that they're not rebuilding as quickly, so that I guess is something that we'll still have to see in the future. Join us for the next episode of MJ Sailing, 
where Georgie is taken on a trip to shore to visit the vet, Matt starts work for the splash guard portion of our Dodger, and we deal with some nasty swells rolling through the anchorage in Simpson Bay, forcing us to use a bridle just to keep from wildly swinging side to side. <laughs> 